Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. This time I'm going to do a webinar slash training about Trello. Now this time we're going to focus on a specific profession. We are going to use Trello for teachers or educators. So let's start. <laughs> So what is Trello for those who are unfamiliar with it? Well, it is a project management web tool. So when we say project management web tool, we will be dealing with something that monitors, manage, acquires, and sends projects. May it be on different file types, may it be using different platforms, may it be using the web. Okay, so for further information regarding this training, uh, let us start with the basics. Let's go Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is just to pull out our browser. So this is my browser with me I'm going to use Google Chrome now if you have your Android devices with you if you have your iOS devices with you It's still okay since this is a an open platform web application. So when we say open platform web application uh, for as long as your electronic device is connected to the internet well in general, we only have three major platforms. We have the PC, the Android, and the iOS device. So regardless of those three platforms, you can use Trello. Okay, so I'm going to use a desktop platform for this. So first, I'm going to visit this website, w.trello.com. Now, if you think that my webinar is quite fast or kind of fast, I will be uploading this video on my YouTube channel so that you can replay on some terms that you were not able to uh, grasp, okay? So first is we are going to sign up for an account. Um, the good thing with Trello it is, is it is an open ID web application. When we say open ID web application, you can use your Gmail accounts to sign up on this uh, web platform. So I'm just going to click on sign up then i'm going to use google or my gmail account for this google or gmail account is the same so wait for it to load so you will be asked to sign up for an account or there should be some sort of another window that will come out but since i've already signed up so this is how it's going to look like the program environment is some sort of a complex basic scenario when we say complex basic scenario, on the first run, it will be complex to you guys because you are still not familiar with the whole environment. So it will be basic in the sense that once you are familiar with certain icons, then definitely it will not be very hard for you to manipulate. There are three things that we need to remember on this one. Okay, always take note of this. The first one is the board. The next is the task. And the third is the so-called artifact okay artifact or artifacts later on i'm going to discuss each one of them now first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that we are on the default window when we say default window it is the main window of this application so to do that you are going to click on the home icon that is located on the upper left corner okay this is the home icon i hope you're seeing it click on that one and this one will pop out now the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a team now uh, just an overview I am using Trello for educators okay or I am going to create a Trello tutorial or webinar for educators or teachers okay so there are a lot of applications for Trello this one is used by project managers this one is used by CEOs this one is used by engineers this one is used by other professions but this time we're going to use this one for teachers the first thing that you're going to do is to create a team now when we say a team uh, it is like for teachers uh, this is your class okay so let's say for example uh, for me as a computer teacher I am teaching computer subjects so I can name this one as Keith's class I'm just going to name it like that then the team type uh, education I'm just going to use education for that I'm just going to leave uh, the team description to nothing okay since th that is just optional I'm going to click on the continue button 
there now the team members will be your students okay so you need to acquire the email addresses of your students now as much as possible you are going to ask your students to create a new gmail account using their first name and last name so that it would be easier for you to grasp on the real names of them now uh, for example if let's say for example your your student's name is john smith and john smith at gmail.com is not available anymore i think you can uh, what do you call this suggest to them to add numerical values for example john smith 2020 something like that or john smith 2020-1 okay at gmail.com something like that now once you're done with it uh, you're going to invite your team members now if you're still not or let's say you are able to invite a couple of your students and still there are still a lot of students to be enrolled on your team then you can just click on I'll do this later okay so I'm just going to click on I'll do this later there you go now I already have the class but I still don't have the members with me let's say I'm going to add a new member okay there this is the team members area so I'm going to add uh, my other self which means I've created two different accounts for this one so I'm going to add kbatek at gmail.com well this is my company's name gmail.com there you go there so this is the other me so as you can see since I have provided an image on my profile uh, this is how it's going to look like so I'm just going to click on that one and I'm going to invite my other self Sherwin Keith Rivera at gmail.com there you go so this is me again again this is just a simulation let's just uh, think that these two individuals are different students or your students so I'm just going to click on invite to team now with this uh, the students will be notified through their emails that someone has invited them in using Trello so once they have accepted it <coughs> then definitely uh, they will be able to see your class okay <clears throat> now the next thing that is that you're going to do is the boards this one is very important guys now click on the boards area now afterwards you are going to create a new board click on create a new board now this is how the board is going to look like now uh, first you need to name the board title now how are we going to name the board title well since we are dealing with your classes so the board name or the board title will be the subject that you are going to teach so for example the subject that I am teaching is com 102 or computer 102 so I'm just going to complete this one as computer 102 this is uh, computer basics now next is we have uh, three options in here on on how your uh, subject is going to be visible it can be team visible or it can be private but make sure that it should not be in public okay so I'm going to choose team visible for this one you can use private if you wanted to it's up to you and for the background of my board I don't want any images on it so I'm just going to use plain color so I'm just going to choose plain blue for that one the next is I'm going to click on create board and this is how it's going to look like there you go now this is how uh, the Trello board would look like now we are done with the board so again take note of this when we say the board that is the name of the subject that you are teaching okay next is we are going to deal with the so-called artifacts now what is an artifact now an artifact is like some sort of a progress identifier okay so for example uh, let me just do it for you guys so first we have the basics I'm going to use the basic artifacts for this first we have the to-do list okay then once I have typed it I'm just going to press my enter key on my keyboard then proceed with the next one let's say doing then the last one is done okay then the fourth one I'm just going to place this one I'm just going to type check there you go that's how it's going to look like now these are the artifacts we have four basic artifacts now it's up to you if you want to add additional artifacts for this one uh, it would be the teachers prerogative okay now the next thing that we're going to do since we are done with the board now again the board is uh, the name of the subject next is 
the artifact is like the progress indicator then the third one is the list now what is the list now when we say the list these are the tasks okay these are the tasks that you are going to let your students do so usually these are the projects these are the assignments these are other stuff that you want your students to do their stuff online okay so let's start on the to-do list okay so i'm just going to click on add card there you go so for example i'm going to provide an assignment or i'm going to give an assignment to my students so uh what are the specific assignments i think i'm just going to use uh basic inventory system in microsoft excel so i'm just going to hit my enter key on my keyboard then if i want to add additional assignment let's say basic payroll system in ms excel there you go then hit my enter key on my keyboard if you want to add more then it's okay now i'm going to move this one a little bit on the side over here i think here then i'm going to open my other browser now this one is my other browser okay now the main purpose why i have uh, opened two side by side browsers it's because we are going to simulate okay we are going to simulate the teacher student uh what they call this integration on how trello really works so i'm just going to close this menu in here there you go this is how it's going to look like now let's say for example uh this one is me this is the keith rivera me or the other me and this one is the teacher me okay something like that now <clears throat> For example, I am going to assign basic inventory system in MS Excel to a specific individual or a specific set of students. So to do that, I'm going to click on the pencil icon located on the rightmost area of this one. So I'm just going to click on that one. I'm going to choose change members. Okay. So I'm going to search for the names. Okay. So show other team members. Let's say I'm going to load it up. So this one is, the name of this student is Keith Rivera Kebatek, something like that. So I'm going to assign it, or I'm going to assign this assignment or this project to Keith Rivera Kebatek. Okay, so I'm just going to click on change members, show other team members, and I'm going to choose this one. Now, you will be able to notice that by the time I'm going to click on this one, this is in real time. So as you have noticed, uh, COM 102 or Computer 102 assignment has been displayed on the screen of Keith Rivera okay so if Keith Rivera wants to check on that one he is just going to click on it and he will be able to see that there is a specific task given to him okay so this is some sort of a notification icon that gives Keith Rivera K Batek an idea that there's an assignment given to him by the teacher now, if the teacher wants to add additional information regarding this assignment, all he needs to do is just to click on this pencil icon right here. Then, uh, you can click on edit labels if you want to change this one to something like red for urgent, something like that. Then automatically, it will be displayed on the screen of the student. Now, if you want to add additional information to it, you can just click on this area, this empty area right here. Now, if you're going to click on this one, this is how it's going to look like now you can provide additional detailed description regarding the assignment that you are going to provide to your students let's say for example um, your project should have the following specifications okay something like that uh, provide at least 10 data to, uh, let's say change the cell colors to blue okay then um, what else uh, include let's say this is a grouping assignment the full names of the members 
of your group so it's like what you're going to do is you're just going to assign a single person for a group project if you want it like that it would be easier for you to check the project right now then click on save then this is how it's going to look like now if you want to provide due dates on this one it would be great as well you can just click on this uh, icon right here due date then you can enter the date or you can just click on the specifics through here let's say for example I want this one to be it should be done on or before Sunday now since this is uh, an online test so definitely regardless if it's Saturday or Sunday you can give it to them okay so you can provide a specific time when uh, should it be submitted okay so you can provide reminders let's say an hour before uh, it will remind the student that they need to finish the assignment otherwise they will fail or they will have some sort of demerits on that particular project so just click on save there you go so as you have noticed again guys uh, there's some sort of a label in here that <coughs> Uh, due date a specific due date is given to them <clears throat> okay now this is the part of the student from which they are going to interact with the project given by the teacher so to do that the student is going to drag this one from to-do list going to the doing list which means it not it will notify the teacher that the student was able to read uh, the project that was given to them so uh, just check this one out okay so imagine this one is a different browser and this one is a different browser or different platform when the student is going to drag it over here notice on the left side that on the screen of the teacher automatically it will also be removed from the to-do list but instead it will be uh, what do you call this present on the doing list <coughs> now let's say the student is <coughs> doing the project let's say for example since a group of students is going to do this, uh, the student is going to click on that one and open it. Okay, so let's say the student is going to click on the task. It should open. Okay, this is how it's going to look like. And the student will be able to see the activities done by the teacher as well. Now, let's say the student has a couple of questions, then they can just write it in here. Let's say, for example, uh, just like how you do comments on uh, Facebook or any other social media websites it's the same on this one so let's say I'm going to tag my teacher for this at let's say what's the name of my teacher it's Keith temporary there you go sir um, should we submit it using Excel or PDF format something like that this is just some some sort of a sample question then automatically if I'm going to cl close that one the window of the teacher will be able to notice that there is some sort of a comment icon so of course the teacher is going to open it and check and reply on that particular com comment so let's say uh, you may submit it using XLS X format or Excel format click on save and as you have noticed on the window of the student uh, the comment section or the comment icon is already highlighted as well so of course the student is going to check on that one now let's say for example the student is done doing the task so he or she is going to attach the file so to do that just click on the attachment icon right here and if it is on a Google Drive link, you can paste the link in here. Or if it is from your computer, you can just click on your computer and look for the particular file. So let's say if I have a file in here with me. Well, my files are kind of private, so I'm not going to open any of it. So let's say this is my file, then I'm just going to click on open. And it will be processed and it will be uploaded on the task area itself. Now, so let's say for example, if uh, the file has been uploaded already, I'm going to close this one. I'm going to, uh, yeah, divide uh, the screens. So once the student is done uploading the file, of course, the student is going to drag 
this task from doing going to done now uh, of course the teacher is going to notice that uh, from the doing area it will also be moved to the done area now the, this is the part of the teacher from which he or she is going to check on the assignment of the student it will be seen on the attachments area I think the attachment has not yet been uploaded because I think I have uploaded a larger file format or a larger file okay something like that now once the teacher is done checking the assignment or the project the teacher is going to click on this uh, project and of course drag it to check then the student will be able to see that the project has been checked properly some teachers are doing some sort of customizations on their artifacts they try to add another list on their artifacts and name it as for revision okay there you go so for example if the teacher is not satisfied with uh, of course the submission of the student he or she has the option to drag it on the for revision list and provide a description why he or she is not satisfied with the submission let's say for example you need to submit a an excel format format okay since the student has submitted a pdf format so something like that so of course the student will be notified in here that on the revisions list they need to change the submitted file format okay so this is just the basic in trello now there are still a lot of features that trello can offer all you need to do is just to click on the show menu and we have a couple of options in here you can print and export the reports if you want to print it if you want to um, do something about it or for reports purposes something like that now if you're done with the board or if you're done with this class let's say it's the end of the semester all you need to do is just to click on uh, the show menu and click on leave board okay so by the time you're going to click on the leave board area then of course you will not be able to see the tasks uh, that are given on that particular board or the individuals that are assigned on that particular board okay so that's it for the basics in Trello project management tool again if you have questions you may of course subscribe on my channel and I will be answering all your questions in there uh, thank you so much and I hope you understand the topic and have a nice day. Keep safe everyone.